Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations, where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer. What is known as the daily office lecture. And hooray! Today is the first Sunday of Advent. It is Sunday, and it is a new year, so happy new year. Uh, the church calendar now resets. We start a whole new liturgical year. Uh, beginning today, the first Sunday of Advent. We have four Sundays before we celebrate the Feast of the Incarnation. I'm sorry, the Feast of the Nativity, right? The birth of Jesus. And four weeks that we're also going to look at the return of Jesus in glorious majesty to judge the quick and the dead. And the key here is it's four Sundays. And because this year, the fourth Sunday of Advent falls in the morning of Christmas Eve, we actually only have three weeks to prepare for this great celebration of the nativity but we should be prepared today in case jesus returns first before that happens uh so anyway uh the lesson that we're going to read at holy communion from the gospel has to do with uh sound very familiar sound a lot like palm sunday uh but uh the lessons that are assigned in the gospel for the next few weeks for morning prayer kind of set the stage for us for the feast of the nativity the birth of jesus uh so this morning uh we'll hear during morning prayer Luke chapter 1, beginning at verse 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abiah, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth, and they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. And they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell on him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias. For thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just and to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zacharias said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man and my wife well stricken in years. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel that stand in the presence of God and am sent to speak unto thee and to show thee these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out and he could not speak unto them, they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple. For he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministrations were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself five months, saying, Thus hath the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. Okay, so we have the story of the conception of John the Baptist. And here's, you know, girl, Zacharias, he's just doing his job. And the angel says, you're going to be a father. He's like, I'm an old man. My wife's well past childbearing age. I need a sign. And the angel's like, I'll give you a sign. Boom, you can't speak. And of course, we know that he won't be able to speak again. Uh, his tongue will be loosed uh, once he agrees. The fact that at John's, uh, uh, the eighth day of John's life at his circumcision, he confirms that his name is in fact John. As the angel says, his tongue is loosed. So anyway, here we go. We're starting the story uh, because after the conception of John, that angel Gabriel is going to be a busy guy and he's going to be going to see Elizabeth or uh, to see Mary soon with similar tidings and then some because she will not only be pregnant, but she's the mother of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So today's Sunday. And it's a special Sunday because it's the first Sunday of Advent. Uh, we're going to have 7.30 morning prayer, 8 o'clock Holy Communion, 10 o'clock Holy Communion, like usual. 5.30 evening prayer today is special, a little truncated service, and 
We're going to have some singing. We're going to have some hot chocolate. We're going to have some cookies. And we're going to light the tree out in the garden. Uh, we've invited the community to join us. And I hope you will either come back because you've been here in the morning or come for the first time today uh, and come and worship with us and share some joy uh, this Advent season. And that's at 5.30 tonight. Uh, so I hope that you're able to do that and that your Sunday is a day that's full of blessings.